Red Raider fans, I want to welcome you to another contest. This is Gary McNeil. We'll have Carl King on the camera. Right now we have Donnie McNeil coming in to a set-in for Carl. While Carl's out doing something, he should be here later. Uh, London's going to go against Clinton Massey. And this is the first game we've done this year, so you're going to see little, little different effects and some stuff that, that we're trying. We're just learning this new system. Uh, so I, I got Clinton Massey here, and they're coming in with a, uh, I believe it's a foreign one. I got it here somewhere. As you can tell, I'm not prepared like I, it always turns out that way. But I found it. I got... Uh, Clinton Masters coming in with a 4 and 1 overall and uh, 2 and 1 leg. And London is 1 and 3 overall and 1 and 1 leg. So I got a feeling we're going to have a good contest here. Uh, we got a lot of, quite a few seniors on this team this year, which may turn out to be a good plus. And I'll give you the, the right lineup here in just a few minutes. Matter of fact, I'll do it now. For them, they have uh, a girl named Trampler, Ackley. McMillan, Woodward, Anthony, Klingen Smith, Ansberge, uh, Ball Smith, Jackson, Duncan, and Baker. And as the game goes on, I'll give you the names and the numbers. For London, we have about 12 girls. I'll start out with the names. This first five or six are seniors. Uh, Lindsey Pickens, Brittany Pearson, Morgan Campbell, uh, Caitlin Dominguez, uh, Emily Royer, uh, Christy Kelly. Those are all your seniors. We have two juniors in the name of Megan McConnell and Ashley Pearson. We have four sophomores, uh, Rachel Wolverton, six foot three, uh, Mackenzie Workman, she's a sophomore, Sarah Harris, and Danielle Clark. Those are all sophomores. Coaches, uh, head coach Daryl Eads and uh, Christy Call and Chelsea Stewart are the assistant coaches. And we'll be giving you a little thing with Daryl. I'll do something with Daryl here later on in the season. But in the meantime, let's get prepared and get ready for this game here. This is Gary McNeil, Donnie McNeil, and Carl King saying, be there or be square. We're getting ready to start a ball game here. Uh, don't pay attention to me because I'm moving around here and trying to get the stuff. We'll do better later on in the season. So hang around. Here we go, folks. We're getting ready to start this game. Got about 30 seconds. Be introducing the teams here. We might want to try. I like I said, I have Donnie McNeil, and he hasn't worked this, this setup before until Carl gets here. Um, we're going to maybe try to get some close ups on the players. So we're going to zoom in on them when they bring the team out, when they bring the players out. And it might be a little tricky. You have to work with that focus a little bit, but we'll get it. Take a little time, but we'll do the best we can. I want to thank the Boosters Club. They sent some food up.
You're out of focus, too. Number 14, Carly Amberby. Number 15, Haley Boston. Number 20, Kayla Jackson. Number 21, Courtney Duncan. And number 23, Stacey Baker. The Clinton Massey Falcon. And now, the 11th Red Raiders. Coached by Daryl Davies and assisted by Christine Ball and Chelsea Stewart. Sophomore number 12, Daniel Clark. Sophomore number 15, Sarah Harris. Bring Sophomore in closer. number 9, Mackenzie Workman. Closer and clearer. Sophomore number 13, Rachel Wolverton. Junior number 8, Ashley Pearson. There. Junior, number 10, Megan McConnell. And now the seniors. Number six, Krista Kelly. Number five, Emily Broner. Number two, Kaylin Dominguez. Number one, Morgan Campbell. Number three, Brittany Pearson. And rounding out the seniors, number seven, Lindsay Pickett. Let's get ready to rumble. London and Clinton Massey. Like I said before, this is our first ball game with the basketball or uh, volleyball. And we had a um, situation in soccer. I can't pol apologize enough that Everything just went haywire up there when we was trying to do the soccer, and we didn't end up getting nothing at all. Um, right now, we're having a little problem with the focus. But like I say, we'll get it. Let's see if I can get some numbers here. All right. B number five. That's Rachel McMillan. Number 10 is Alex Woodward. Number four, Ackley. 21, Duncan. 11, Anthony. And for London, our starters are. 317, which is Pearson 3. We got a 1, and I don't even have a name for her. They, they, uh, Morgan Campbell, number 1. Number 7 is uh, Pickens. Number 8 is uh, Pearson. And we got a point there, one point for London. Serving for London is number three. That would be uh, Brittany Pearson. I think I missed a name. I'll give it to you in just a second. Okay. In the white jersey is uh, number two. And that would be uh, Caitlin Dominguez for London. Those are your players on the floor right now. London still serving. Number three. Scores two to nothing. And she serves an ace. Brittany Pearson throws one in there. Looks 
Looks like it's dark down on that floor for some reason. I don't know why. Oh. Good stop, set up. Distance long. Number seven, Lindsey Pickens shoots that one clean out of bounds. So we're gonna have a score of, oh no, it must have been in. Must have been in, Donnie, I didn't see that. Four to nothing, London's off to a good start. London Clinton Massey. That one's out, I know, I saw that. So we got a score of four to one. One thing I like about this game, the way it is now, is there's a score that goes up on every every serve, every play. And London gets it set up. Number three. In the hole. Ah, seven. And then the Pickens once again drives one in for the point for London. Five to one is your score. Serving for London, I get a number here. Number seven once again. Lindsay Pickens. Number one. Oh, she tried to drive one home. That was Morgan Campbell. And number seven, Pickens. Little miscue there. Doesn't get it over the net. I gotta give him some light up here. I can't see. About half blind anyway, and with no light, oh boy. So serving for them is number 12. Hamburgy, she shoots one in. Set up, and that is a six foot three girl. Rachel Warburton spikes one in. Makes the score six to two. End of the game for London is number 10. Megan McConnell, McConnell, sorry, Megan. Megan McConnell. She's a sophomore, I think. Take that back, she's a junior. I tried to steal a grade from her, didn't work. Seven to two, serving for London is Wolverton. And another one. As the ace they called, they thought it was gonna be out, it was long. Makes it eight to two. Like I said, London's off to a really good start here. Got a close up on Daryl Eads and his troops. They're waiting for this. Hopefully they can pull this one out. Like I say, they're uh, one and one in the league. Clinton Massey is in our league. Two is your score. Who's serving? London's serving still Richard Warburton. Oh, a trap at the line didn't cost us anything as number one uh, Campbell drives one across and they point. Massey, eight to three. Uh, we'll get a shot here a little bit later. The whole football team come in. They're gonna support them. Got them lined up like a beggar picture there. We'll get them later. Oh, number two, uh, Caitlin Dominguez shoots one back across. Point goes to London. We got a score of Eight to four. We're in the first game. Going into surf London is number five, and that would be Emily Royer. Coming out with number one, Campbell. Called London in the net. So we're going to get a point to Clinton Massey. Makes it nine to five. 
this game can change so quickly, so it looked like Lum was on a really roll there. We'll have to see what happens. Serving for them is number three, and that would be Trampler. She shoots one in the middle, and it's good. Oh, good save by McConnell. They're trying to punch it right in the hole. And another good save by number two, and that's Dominguez. And we can't get to that one. Point, Fenton Massey. Nine to four. Serving once again is still number three, Trampler. Trouble. Nine to five. We're still in the first game. They're kind of picking on uh, number five, which is uh, Royer, but she's able to make that play and come up with it, save it. Makes the score 10 to six. London side out, number eight. Ashley Pearson will be serving. Just, just barely over top of McConnell's head, or arm or each hands, whatever. And it just looked like it slid right down her back. 10-7. We have a game, ladies and gentlemen. Got a fairly decent crowd along with, with the football team in here. You can see them in the background. We'll get a shot up a little later. Tries to stuff out one. Another save from Connell on the hook. Number seven. That's Pickens drives it over. And we got somebody in the net for London. Point for Mass Clinton Massey, 10 to 8. London. I didn't see who, who made that play. Makes it 11-8. This game goes to 25 now, where it used to go to 15. Supposedly, it's supposed to make the game faster. I don't know. McConnell will be serving for London. point a little late try by um, Wolverton 11 9 huh. two point spread here not much good way to get in there and dig by number eight that was uh, picking for Pearson and they shoot one in the hole we have a one point game here 11 10 as Clinton Massey's on the move. Number 23 serving for Massey is Baker. And we have a tie ball game. Tied up at 11. Game one, tied up at 11-11. Well, they're just barely getting that ball to the net. It's working for them. Speaking of Clinton Massey. Oh, good block by Wilberton. Gets up and uses that height and that strength to drop, drop one back at the net. Makes the score 12 11 London. Serving for London is number three. That's Brittany Pearson. And it doesn't go over the net. That's uh, Cardinal sitting there, Donnie, not giving it over the net. Uh, 
block by them, number 11, and that would be Anthony. Goes up and blocks uh, Warburton's attempt to spike it. And they just took the lead, 13-11. Good hustle by number four. And she gets it in, and that would be Ackley. Ackley knocks that one in. 14 to 12. London is slowly getting behind. 14 to 12. Oh, uh, and they're going to call number three for London Pearson in the net. Serving for them would be 14. That would be Ambergy. And a spike. Number seven, I believe that was. Picking Lindsay. Lindsay's about a senior. 15-13. Look at the little Pac-Man play there. Ball went up in the ceiling. Was bouncing around on the rafters. Just landing the point there, 15-14. They weren't able to play off of it. Picking the serving for London. Pickens with the, goes in, sets it up, goes over two. Another tribe of picking, but it didn't go, didn't work. Pan out for us, 16-14. In favor of Clinton Massey. Ah, Wilberton drives one in to the side. Just landing a point. 16-15, we're still in here. Wolverton back to serve for London. Ah, right dead at the line. Give us a point. Tied up, 16 up. London takes the lead, 17-16. This is a nip and tuck game here. Oh, blocked by McConnell, and it turns out to be good. 18-16, London. But about three score changes. They set it up high enough. Gives them time to get in place. And drive into Pickens and it can't get to the play. 18-17, we're still in the first game. Serving for their, Massey is number four, Ackley. Oh, Mis miscommunication there. Makes the score tied up. Oh, good punch in by number three, uh, Pearson. As number two, 
Dominguez goes after it. She cannot make the play. 1918. Uh, McConnell scoops that one over. And Point London tied up at 1919. Can we get another league change here, or score change? Number five going in for London. Royer, she's in there with Dominguez. And um, McConnell's still in the game. Four for London. Dominguez will be serving, number eight. Pearson's in the game. Number three. You have two persons, Lindsay and, and Brittany. Twenty-one nineteen, London. I'm counting about six lead, uh, score changes. Lead. 22-19. Need about three more points, and London can maybe come up with a win here. We have a timeout as we'll flood it over and pan the football team. A little close up on them. There's our London High School football players, all in white with their traditional uh, red tie. Might come in a little closer for Ken. And there's another row up higher. Up higher, the other way. There we go. And we also have on up the red. In the red is the. I'm not sure whether that's the freshman or varsity. On up higher, Donnie. Red. There we go. Like I say, we got a cameraman who hasn't doesn't isn't familiar with this camera, so it's gonna take a little time. There you go, car to your right. Go the other way. The other way. Get them in there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Back to the ball game. I think I might have seen some cheerleaders up there too. Okay, back down to the ball game. Serving for London will be number five, Emily Royer. Need a little time to get used to these names. And Emily shoots one in. Makes the score 23 to 19. London needs two more. They can pull out this first game after about four or five uh, score ch lead changes. Oh, and then they squeeze one in there. 23-20. Serving for them would be number three, Trampler. And McConnell tries to tap one in the hole, and it worked. 24-20. One more point, London, you can pull out a win for the first game. And if this uh, Let's stay with the game, Don. It's a crucial point. And we got a, oh, still going. We got a good volley going here. 24-20 as the crowd goes wild. Oh, 24-21. We had a cameraman wanting to pick up the game, but we can't do that when we got a crucial point here in the game. And they're clapping, as you can hear in the background. Number 10 for them, Woodward will be serving. And it works, 24-22. I don't know if that uh, background help is going to help us or not. We got a timeout. Coach Eads wants to call a timeout. He's over here to the right. See what Coach Eads is doing over here to the right. 
London team. He's trying to get this uh, thing together. We're 24-22 is your score. London had a 24-20. Lost two points there real quick as the London football team jumped up and was screaming on. I don't know if that kind of scared the girls or not. Not used to that kind of a reaction coming at them. Still serving, number 10, Woodward. <laughs> 24 22. Diamond could win it here. Oh, we're going to make the 24 23. This is not a good sign. I'm not sure how this goes. We have to win by two or not. Now we're tomahawking over there. Oh, tied up at 24-24. This is huge. This could be a huge play here. I'm not sure as, as Coach uh, Coach Joe, he called a timeout. And went dry by trying to talk this, this game up here. Coach E is trying to get his team got together here. 24-24. We have a score. Tie ball game. Looking tough. We'll know here in a minute whether it's a uh, win by two or a single point win. I would think a single point would win it since they went to this new scoring technique of instead of ending it at 15, win by two. So we'll soon find out here pretty quick. Serving for them is they have the advantage with the serve with Woodward. They come back a long way. Cheering sections, cheering them on. Stay with it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This could be it. Good save by number two. As Pickens strikes it out. And that makes it score 25-24. I guess you have to win by two. That's a break. Still serving. Woodward, she's had a string of about six points here. We need this point to end that the game. And London loses it 26-24. And we'll change sides here. Got about three minutes to four. And we'll get a scan of the crowd there if we can. Bring them in a little closer, a little closer as you can. And closer and focus. There we go. And we'll go back across there and pick up a few people. You can see the London faithful, some of the parents. Slow it down just a little bit. Like I said, this is the first time Donnie's done this for us, so be patient with us. Carl will be back hopefully the next time. Here's a good close-up of the football players. Coach, I think he's even here. He's down in front. He might be giving some instructions. I don't know. That's the football coach. He was out on the floor. He's standing up there, right there. He's got his back to us. Evidently, he's giving some uh, his players a little pep talk uh, 
to let them know that maybe I'm thinking he's letting them know, hey, goes right down to the last play. And we got a good chat in the cheering section with the team. And London will take the other side of the floor. Uh, this is a little different for my cameraman because uh, Carl works off of a monitor. He can't see the little teeny pictures comes out of the camera, so we got a 60-inch a monitor here for Carl. And it's kind of hard to get used to looking at that monitor. And you're looking one way, maybe the play is going the other way, and you're not actually turning your head or the body to stay with it and trying to keep it in focus. It makes a big difference. That's good right there, Don. That's good right there. See who's starting off serving. Looks like uh, number five. That would be McMillan starting off for them. She'll be serving. London's coming out with the same lineup they started up with, 13-7-3. Wolverton tries. Wolverton drives one in, so London gets on the board first once again. One to nothing. As Wolverton gets a spike in there. For London on the back row, we have number eight, Pearson Ashley. Number two, Dominguez, that'd be Caitlin. And number um, three, another Pearson, Brittany Pearson. She is serving. That's out, or is it in? Up, oh, that was in, one to one. Number 13 also in for London, that would be uh, Wolverton. Number one, Campbell. And we have a weak serve there, makes it one, two to one London. Serving for London was number seven, that would be Lindsay Pickens. She's a senior, seems like she's been playing a long time. For London. Number seven for London, pick it once again. London, 4-1. We're starting out the same way we did the first game, getting a big lead here. Well, it's not necessarily a big lead in this game, 4-1. to one. <laughs> Wolverton gets a spike. Count it. 5-1, London. Cheer section is making a lot of noise. What we like to hear. Five to one London. We're in the second game. Point London. Six one. down what we had the first game. We're off to a 7-1 lead here in the second game. So we got a big, about a six-point spread. London on top.
Seven one. Ninja Pickens is your server. Pickens makes the oh in the ceiling. Gives you time to regroup as Bulletin. Huh? Looked like she's in the net, but it wasn't evidently so. Count it. Eight to one. Pickens still serving. She served up eight straight points. Good dig by Pickens. She's everywhere. Number eight, that's uh, Pearson. Gets it over the net. Wolverton finds a hole. Taps one in. A little finesse play. Nine to one, London. They're on a roll. Can we keep it up? Pickens has served up nine straight points there. It might be eight straight points, but whatever. Uh oh, that crosses. So. Went nine to one before we lost a point. Serving for that match will be number 12. Clingsman Smith, Clingsman, Clinton Smith. Clinton Mass has uh, experienced this kind of a uh, crowd noise or not. But the well, football players are really getting into it. 9 to 2 is the score, second game. Put back over and play for number one, Campbell, and London scores. So that was a short-lived out uh, there. Ten to two. As uh, Wolverton uh, served and then tried to make the return, London didn't quite get it over that second time, and it makes it ten to three. Oh, that looked like it all, that, was a, that was a heck of a serve there. That was almost a spike, 10 to four. Like I say, this game uh, can turn on you in, in, in a second. She tried the same thing, that was number four. Ackley, Ackley, and she didn't get it over the net. So London will take over 11 to four. I gotta get me some light up here somehow. Served by number five, that would be Emily Royer. As Pickens hustled in there. In the game is McConnell for London. Oh, pretty set up, beautiful spike. 11 to five. I didn't give him a score yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, I don't know what uh, number five Rory was thinking that, how the ball had to go over. It was headed up here toward us. Score says 11 to five, but I'll wait here. Set up, and McConnell gets over the net. Oh, hustle. London scores. 
12 to 5. Should have, been, should have been long. Number eight, that's uh, Pearson, actually. She gets it in play, and I'm gonna get the score out of it. 13 to five. Seven for London is Pearson. And she gets a straight ace, ace in there. 14 to 5. An ace for London. And this time it doesn't come anywhere near the court. I believe that was number two, Dominguez. And she shoots it clean out of bounds. 14 to 5 is her score. We're in the second game, London and Clinton Massey. with the shot and it's in. 15 to five. This McConnell's playing a good ball. I don't, I haven't, I've seen her off the, off the floor a few times. I don't quite understand that, but like I say, I don't see him in practice and stuff. I'm not the coach. 15 to seven is the score. They did give that point that I was looking for a while ago to Clinton Massey. Good shot, and Pickens shoots it long, 15 to eight. Pickens shoots one in the hole, and we got a whistle here. Oh, I don't know what that was. I guess she palmed the ball. 15 and 9. The coach was kind of disputing that call, but uh, it's kind of over, kind of hard to overrule the official. It will give your team a little time to rest. Good hustle. Oh, God. See, number eight, number eight, uh, Pearson went through up in the stands. Landed, her back landed on the first seat, but I guess she's okay. 15 to 10. <laughs> Wolverton once again. He's her superior height and strength to drive one in. 16 to 10. Long way from 25, though. Serving for London is number three, Brittany Pearson. not getting it yet. Oh. That looked way out. She's running around trying to find it. That was whatever. 16 to 11. You got to make that call when it happens. You can't. Fish are sitting there waiting and watching. Because that is a student and it's probably not something she's used to doing. Warburton tried to tap one in the hole, and they, they played it. Played it well. Except Warburton and Pickens slams run over. Blocked by Warburton. But also Warburton once again 
can't roll it over, and they're going to call Palmer. Makes it 16 to 12. So they're on their way back, and we got a timeout. It's been a pretty tough fought game here. Timeout London. London Clinton Massey scores 16 to 12. There you have the scoreboard. And we try not to have any dead time because uh, we're recording live also. Just in time off like this, just pick up anything that your little heart desires. The team, the fans, the scoreboard, the score table, whatever. I said before, this is something new for my cameraman. He doesn't really have a clue what we want. He's just playing it by ear and he's doing a good job. 16 to 12. So if you see him on the street, shake his hand, Donnie McNeil. He's done a good job. Just tell him thanks because he didn't have to do this. He's given up his time to come out here and do this. So we appreciate that. 16 to 12. Warburton gets it over, and they're setting it up for another setup. Warburton. Is that it? 16-13, they're coming back. After London's big stretch of 9-1, we have this, everything's been uh, really close, point for point. Wolverton reaches out and ha <laughs> ha, complete stress to get that one back to play. And they find a hole, 16 to 14. Running slowly destructing, disrupting or something, falling apart, 16 to 14. We lost the first game, took it clear down to 24-24 before we end up losing. And at that time we had a five point lead. But that's history. And we get a palm going against uh, Clinton Massey. Makes it 17-14. Going back to surf for London will be number seven. Lindsay Pickett. I have a bar right in front of me. And I, it just seems like it takes out right the perfect play. You know, I can't see everything that is right in front of this bar. Seventeen fourteen is the score right now. We're in the second game. London lost the first one. Seventeen fifteen. Serving number eleven, Anthony. Game is getting tight. Seventeen sixteen. I don't believe what I'm seeing, but we're slowly beating ourselves. And a bad serve, which makes London a point. Eighteen sixteen. Who we got serving? Number 13, that would be Wolverton. See if she can reel off a few points here. As the official comes down and repairs the net. <laughs> Still working. I don't know what he's doing over there. Something ain't working. Something ain't right, put it that way. A little something, something. I was looking at them. Working on the net, I don't know what he's doing. That, he got her fixed. He's back to his perch. Wolverton is your server. Those 
number eight, uh, Pearson, tried to spike that one in. Saved by Pickens. Number one, Campbell, she gets it over. Ah. Wolverton tried to make that play and she comes out of the game. End of the game will be, I believe, number two. And number eight, Dominguez and Pearson. 18-17 is the score right now. London's got a chance to slick it out. Going in for London was number five. That's Krista Kelly. And coming out would be Campbell. And Kelly makes her first point. So we're now back at pretty close to the point where we were when London had a five or six point lead, 20 to 17. We're in the second game. Oh, push, and it's in. Pretty play. Number three, that was uh, Trampler. She tips it in, makes it 2018. It is warm in the building tonight. McConnell tips one, tries to put it in the hole, and don't go. And it works. 21 to nine, to 21 to 18 is our score. Second game, Clinton Massey against London. London on top right now. Let's stay that way. Good serve. Ah, 22. It looks, uh, do we have a repeat of the last game or can London go ahead and win this? They called timeout when London had 22 the first game. Did he call there? I don't understand that call, but 22-19. We gotta pull this one out. We don't want to get that far behind. 22-19 is the score. And we got a timeout. With the score of 22-19, get a close-up on these. Can't figure out what he's telling him, but I'm sure he's trying to get telling him to be a little more alert. Remember the fundamentals and get dig in. We need this win. They have a they have a record of four and one overall and uh, two and one in the league. This is a league game, and our record is uh, one and three. Overall, and one and one in the leg. We need this. Brings up two and one. There's a good shot of the some of the faithful. Assistant athletic director was assistant athletic director was one of them. Them is number 10, Woodward, and she's the one that brought them back out of the hole the last time when that was score was 20. London had a big lead then. Officials are having a little chat there at half court. Darrell Woodward goes out on the floor and gives some instructions. And the officials are back in play, getting ready to start the game. 22-19 is the score. Oh, 
Broadway. 22-20. Are we trying to repeat the last one? Seems like Clinton Massey kind of puts it in uh, in gear when they get down to, to the tight spots. Good shot. I believe that was McConnell drove that one home. Makes it 23-20. She went up there with, like she had a vengeance there. She was going for the kill and she got the kill. She also gets to serve. And I believe she was one that was serving when we got down to, she served about eight or nine points straight the last game, first game. In the hole. So it's 23-21. Serving for them with number 14, Lamborghini. Is able to get it over. Good block at the net. Uh oh. Save. It's in play. Uh, Rachel Warburton tried to tap that right down in front of the net, over the net, but it didn't work. It makes it 23 to 22. Going down to the wire once again. High ball game. 23 That's the first time it's been tied for a long, long time. For Clinton Massey, that's good. For London, I don't know. And Clinton Massey just took the lead. 24-23. Can we pull it out? Number one, going back in the game, that's Campbell. She's going for uh, Emily Royer. Warburton just keeps it in play. And London's going to tie it up, 24. So we have a tie ball game at 24-24. Second game. London needs these next two points. Serving for London is, I see, number three. Brittany Pearson. Got everybody standing, the whole football team, all the coaches. A lot of support. Set it up for Warburton. She's a little far back. She can't get it in a position to make a spike. And they get one. Number 11 makes it 25-24. That was Anthony made that spike here. Cheering section, which is a football team, is trying to get some life in here and kind of spear them on. back to serving for them will be number 23 Baker they need this this could be a killer we need this point get it over and it's wide long 26 24 looks like game game two London cannot pull it out this time. Looks like we do have another game coming up, so it must be three. We'll see what happens here. And we got a three minute break. Now we're getting ready for the third game. 
London's down two to one. Um, lost 26-24. Matter of fact, identical scores, 26-24. And it was almost identical games the way it, it played out. So we want to see what happens here. Number three, we starting out for London uh, serving, be Brittany Pearson. Camels in the game. Pickens, Wolverton, Ashley Pearson, and number two, Caitlin Dominguez. That's your starters for this game, and we start off the other way this time, so we'll see what happens. It's game three. Going the exact opposite this time, so it's two to nothing in favor of Clinton Massey. Warburton tried to spike, but they were able to handle a snip, but ends up point for London. What they're saying. I don't know if that scoreboard's right or not. And as he picked his Russian server, didn't quite get it over the net. Makes it four to one. Number 12 for them to be serving, that is Klingson Smith. I probably butchered that name up pretty good. It's long. Four to two. In the game for London is um, McConnell. She's on the front line. That's number 10. Got a good volley going here. And it's in. Sarah Harris, number 15, is in the game for London. I haven't seen her in there for a while. She is a sophomore. And I haven't seen uh, Danielle Clark. I don't know whether she's injured or not, but she's usually a pretty good athlete anyway. 5-3. On top is Clinton Massey. This is the third third game. A good try by Brittany Pearson ends up with a some floor burns there. But the score is six three. Six four. This game's starting out a little bit different than the first two. The first two games are almost identical to the way they played out. London lost them both. We can use this one.
the state keep hope alive. Attempted block by McConnell and um, Pickens, but uh, didn't work out that way. 7-4. Serving is number 21, that's Duncan. 8-4. We're getting behind real quick this time. That looked like that jammed some fingers there on number five. Emily Roar kind of handled that ball wrong and jammed their fingers look like. Serving still number 21, Duncan. Good one hand hustle saved by number three, that was Pearson. Not this time. 10 4. And we got a timeout, London. As Coach E calls his troops in to try to figure out what's going on here. Uh, we probably lost 15 out of the last. 20 points if you go back to the last game. Maybe not quite that bad, but that's the way it seems. 10 to 4 is your score right now. We got a little time here. I want to thank Donnie for coming out and donating his time to bring you this game. And uh, Carl, we miss you. I'm sure you'll be back. He's kind of experimenting now. He'll have it down pat by the time the game's over. 10 to 4 is your score. Duncan's still serving for Clinton Massey. Pickens and Campbell both went after that ball at the same time. We don't have, I don't know, it's just not, the team effort isn't, doesn't seem to be working out. We'll take that point. 11-5. Serving for London will be McConnell. See what she can do. She made a gallant effort to try to save the ball from McConnell. Didn't rip, didn't pan out. 12-5. I think this game might only go to 15 too. Wolverton pushes one in. Good hustle by number eight, uh, Ashley Pearson. And London looks like they may have come up with that point. 12-7. Back to serve for London, number three. Brittany Pearson. Yeah. 
12-7. London's steady 12-8, makes 12-8. London's working on it. And my cameraman just showed up, Carl King. He's on the scene now. Out. 12-9. Is this the first game? Second? No, that last game. Last game? Mm -hmm. what, what is it? They won London. Ooh, 26 24. Wow. Both of them. Man. And we were ahead um, in both games at the 21 22 mark. This game might only go to 15, I think. Oh, really? And it makes it 12 10. No, they got the hey, going. All right. They, oh, got, the they point. got the point. They was in the net. 13 10. London evidently was in the net. Yep. Give me the server. There you go. Uh, hey. <laughs> what we got going on here? Uh, Coach didn't know that he wonder why they were serving. That's why I probably was wondering why. Look at it. Good job. Oh. 14 to 9. I don't know if this will end it or not. I think the third game might only go to 15. We lost the first two. Once again, I'm guessing. Got a good volley going here, but as soon as I say that, I mess up something. Pickens gets it over. Oh, good hustle. Warburton. Yeah. Warburton shot going over. He's made a few shoot. She's made a few shots like that, but they've called a palm in the ball. Uh. 14 to 10, as number 15 goes into the game for London. That's Sarah Harris. She's making her second or third appearance. If it goes 15. I really. It. Go ahead. We got it. We can't let. We got to dig in. Huh? It's over. Yeah. Daniel Clark is, a, I think, is one of the better players, and I think she might be hurt. As we got, uh, well, the officials are having a little talk. Pow wow. Pow wow. This is something new. I just about broke the people's back carrying all this stuff up. It don't look like much. Yep. But when you load it in that one case, yeah. then I get here and I don't have an extension cord oh, yeah. to go under that door. Mm. I had to take one apart and then put it back together to slide it under the door. First time I've seen the weights. Yeah, it's nice in there, yeah. the new weight room. Oops. Let's see if this is it. Nope. I go to 21, Gary. Go to 21? Go to 21. 15 to 10. Because the normal, regular game goes to 25. Or 25, they go to 25 then, I would assume. Whoa. And they return the favor. Makes it 15 to 11. McConnell back in the game for London, along with uh, Campbell. And Harris. Pearson. All right. Good serve. All right. 15-12. Wolverton's back serving. Ready to catch up. Ah. That was ugly. 16-12. Unforced error. Mm -hmm. Oh, good hit. Point right. London. Sixteen thirteen.
If you're hungry, there's food. Caught in the net as Harris tries to make the block there at the net and score is 17-13. We're in the third game. Uh, Clinton Massa pulled off the first two identical scores, 26-24. Uh, All right. And that gives uh, London a point, makes it 17 to 14. I was trying to give that spike attempt to Warburton, but I believe it might have been, uh, I want to say McConnell. Had a good volley going. Get it over. There we go. Good tip in by McConnell. Tip in. Playing basketball again. McConnell's Woo! And McConnell once again playing tough at that net. Put eyes on that one, didn't you? Finds a hole. Yeah. Seen him sneaking up. Uh huh. Went over their heads. We got to get back in here. Serving for London, Ashley Pearson. Got to catch it. No. See, we got too many people running at the ball at the same time. No, communication. That hole is wide open almost all the time. Coach, tell them they got to get over. 18 to uh, 15. Sneak it away. This game might only go to 21. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah. Best out, best out three. I've been wrong yeah. twice. Yeah. Well, if it's best out three, they've already no, won two. No, uh, three out of five, rather. Yeah. Yeah, it's three out of five. Well, sometimes you go five games. I think when it goes to that fifth game, it's about maybe short. I'm not, I don't know. We're making I know one of You do the same thing. You've been I, doing this for 12 years. Yeah, but they changed the rule. Oh, that's true, too. Just when you got it, right? Just when I finally got the 11th got year, down. got the rule down, they changed it. <laughs> 11 years and they change it on me. Yeah. I'm mad at that. Yeah. Uh. All right, see, he covered that time. Good Man, shot in the hole, almost. Good job. Man. Good volley that time. That one up through the rafters. Uh -huh. Didn't hit anything. I, that was close. 18-15. Good day. Where's the crowd at, man? That was full of football players oh, all ago. Yeah, well. They had the whole football team. They was loud. Yeah. They was carrying on. Woo! Good eye. 18-16. Gotta get up here now, come on. You're probably right about the five games because they got five games here in the scorebook. Yeah, that's five. Good eye. Come on, come on. Oh, jeez. 19-17. You can't catch up. We're soon going to run out of real estate. Yep, don't have a lot of time left. This game here's playing out a little different. The first two games, London was ahead at the 20 mark. Wow. One time they was ahead by about four points. Whoa. Come on, come on. Over. Good job. Good play. Good volley going here. Oh, man. And it was cupped at the net. Right through the block. 2017. They usually get it staying about three. Mm-hmm. Warburton tried to 
garage and they bang on over. Get up. Yeah, good job. Good job by number three, Brittany Pearson. Playing net there, and she gets a point for London, 20 to 18. We're in the third game. It's two and three is where we're staying at. We got to get, see if we can get down to one. Oh, man. Not that way. 21 to 18. Well, don't go to 21 on 25. Yeah, evidently. And we have a short break in the game with a timeout. London down 21-18. We're also down two games, 26-24 first game. Identical 26-24 second game. London was ahead in the first game. They tied it up at 24 before we lost it. Mm. And we were ahead 20-19 uh, and went up to 24-19. Then they come up, they got, come up and got us. In the second game, we reel off the first nine points, nine to one. Wow. Then they end up tying it up at uh, 23. That's the first time they caught up was at 23. And they went ahead and beat us. That's close. Uh, and, and it's just that close now. It's just yeah. a. Just a few mental errors, I think, on, yeah. London, on London's part. Yeah. Uh, communication between the players, I'm seeing we're not. I don't know. If, I can't hear from here, but I don't know if we're getting a lot of talking amongst the players where they can, I got it, I got it, and stuff like that. I see them run into each other a few times. 22-18. Communication is a big key in this game, I believe. As it is in every game, All right. or every sport, 22-19. We can't afford to give up any more points, Carl. Nope. This is stand two, three. Mr. King in the house. We got to catch up now. And we're gonna switch servers. Dominguez is going to serve now. Another uh, meeting of the mind. Yeah. The officials are make, having a meeting at half court there. I see uh, Karen didn't make it out here. I haven't seen her. I guess she was, well, might be out. 22-19. Meeting of the mind. We did have a few shots of the faithful few up there. Uh oh. Uh, did I hear an illegal substitution? Oh, man. Switch, switch, switch the server. Do that? I don't know. I think the coach has explained it. Get a picture of the coach in there, Donnie, so you can see him. There you go. Clear it up. There you go. I'm not sure what. Uh, Mr. Easy Sam, but he did bring the official off of his perch. Fisher's coming into the picture. And once again, like Carl said, a meeting of the mind. Carl, this place was Bedlam earlier. Uh, that whole area was full. And they were in tune. They were screaming and hollering. Oh, man, it was first two games. It was really, I don't know if the team is used to that or not, but they, uh, more or less got, looked like it kind of scared London yeah, when they got yeah. carrying on like that. That's the way it looked like to me. And I could be completely off base. And probably are. Yeah, as usual. The, uh, I don't need no, nothing out of from you. <laughs> the pink uh, gallery. Uh, yeah. The, uh, yeah, the football team looks all, yeah, they look, they look good and uh, in all dressed alike. Oh, yeah. And I tell you what, it's, they're just a year away. Yeah from really putting on a good show. Mm -hmm. They're young. Yep. The main thing is don't give up. Just right. hang in there and keep plugging, and good things will happen. Just keep trying to get better. And like to say, this girls team here is 22-19. I've already apologized for your mess-ups on your soccer 
game that we were more, weren't able to put it on because you messed up the tape and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just not getting the, the real story from you. I'm getting it a piece at a time. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and it's slipping out the, the parts that I'm getting. You accidentally mentioned something. I got to I gotta blame it on you, somebody. <laughs> oh, I man. think we both were at fault on that one. Ah. You don't think you were? Do what? I think we both were at fault on oh, that one. But yeah. Well, I'll, we, I'll take, I got big shoulders. We learned a lot. I used to have big shoulders anyway. And yeah, we won't make that same mistake twice. I hope not. Oh, shoot. I had a shot there, wasn't it? That was a good set there. 23-19. Good, good set and good finish. You lose two games like that, that could take a lot out of you, too. Yeah, yeah, close we were, like that. Yeah, we were in both games. Man. Up to the, right close to the end, and then it seemed like we fell apart. 26-24, unbelievable. Four, 20, 24 19. Not over. This is the third game. Serving for a win. Man, that man hanging down. <laughs> uh huh. It is down a lot of ways. Oh, shoot. Oh, good play by Pickens to get that, keep it in play. Oh, man. Looks like it could be game. That was a good uh, 20. Good hit there. 25 to 25. 19. So Clinton Massey comes in here after a long ride and goes home with three games in a row, which gives them the win for this whole thing. If we get the cameraman, he's trying to get that in there. He's working hard. Good picture. We'll see if this makes it on the air. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> so that was the final score. Head there. And uh, we're going to end this game. And if you want to bring it around here, we have a score of, final score of three to nothing in favor of the uh, Clinton Massey London. And we'll get this cameraman awake here. I don't know where he's at. There we go. Thank you, cameraman. You finally, I know I'm ugly and you don't want this camera's probably messing you up, but anyway, this is Gary McNeil <laughs> along with Carl King saying I'll see you, but I wouldn't want to be you. Adios. Good night. I'll leave it there.